Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to add animated text in iMovie. So the apps that we are going to be using is iMovie, of course, Video Leap and Studio. This is GoDaddy Studio, which was over at a time, but they changed the name. And then you will see Fonto. So let me just show you with the app over. So if you go to the App Store and you search over, there you will see over and now GoDaddy Studio. So they changed the name of it and the logo. iMovie we're going to be using to edit your video. Video Leap we're going to use to edit text. Over we're also going to use to edit text and Fonto you will see later. So I'm going to show you two ways that you can edit your animated text to iMovie. So let's go into iMovie. Click the plus button to create a project, say movie. And now we're going to choose this image. So here we'll see the image is moving. So we're just going to click on it and say can burst enabled. And then it will stay still. Then you can adjust the image of how you want it. Let's just leave it like that. So iMovie does have some animated text features. Here you can see if you press on the T for text. Here is some animated features, but there is not a lot of options as you can see. So let's just choose this pop one. So here, if you click on the A, here we'll see here is font that you can choose from, or you can just use the font that is there by default. Then I click on the text and say edit. So there I can edit, let's say iPhone. 13 pro max so done so there it is and you can move it around so if it's gonna play it's gonna go like this which is also very nice so if when we're gonna be looking at the other apps you must already know where you want to import your text and where you want it to be and what the size of the text must be so I'm just going to eyeball this one, so it's going to be more or less where I put that one. So now we're going to go into Fonto, and we're going to create a green screen. So then we're going to go to Plain Images, you can just press this blank one. Then you're going to go to the size and say Custom, so then you're going to say 1280 by 720 because that is the size of your video and then you're gonna say color and you're gonna choose a green so like a neon type of light green say apply then you're gonna say use press this arrow button and say save image okay so now we're gonna go over to video leap so Video Leap has a free version and it has a paid version. So the paid version is a bit ex more expensive, but the free version does not have that many options. So we're just gonna work with what we have. So we're gonna press this plus button and use this green screen. So add to project. So here is the project. And here you can make the duration of how long you want your text to be in your video. So I would suggest if you have your text, let's say for three seconds, I would suggest making it five or six seconds so that you can just edit it if it is too short or too long. So then we're going to add text here. You can see text. So if you go to fonts, you will see they do not have that many fonts available or that many options of fonts. Let's go with this text and double tap on the image and then double tap to edit. Then we're going to say again, iPhone 13 Pro Max. So it is more or less on this side where I want the text to be. And on the bottom here, you can, you can change the color or whatever you want to change over here so if we go to animation down here you will see in overall and out so there are some options so here you can see in in there is fade 
scale spin flicker whatever you want and overall it's blink pulse floating without it's also fade spin so here is where you can fade out so you can see here is in here's overall and here's out so each transition has its own settings within the animation let's slide it in here you can change how fast and how slow you want it to slide in overall you're just gonna say none and out slide back again so now that that's done we're going to export it say save so now it's saved in your photos so let's look at attempt two and then at the end we're going to bring it all together how to add it in iMovie so we're first just going to create fonts so then we're going to go to studio and click the plus button to create a transparent background so then you're going to change the size let's make it again 1280 by 720 so here you have your transparent canvas so this is what i like about over and fonto is you can create transparent backgrounds so you don't have to worry about the green screen effect so over also has nice fonts so if you add text iPhone 13 Pro Max that button so here you can see here you can change between the font that you chose so this one also has like bold italic whatever you want to be so let's go with this font okay so then you can change the style color the size let's make it like this and put it over there as i want it to be in my video so here you can edit the shadow and you can change the angle i'm just gonna say off because this text does not look good with the um shadow you can also blur it you can change the opacity of your text rotate it or whatever you want to do with your text so then we're gonna click on this correction mark and click the share and save so now it is saved to photos so if we go to photos here you can see it is transparent so last app is fonto so now we're gonna add a plain image we're gonna choose this one change the size of the image again custom 1280 by 720 say done what you're gonna do now to make it transparent is you go to color and you say alpha so then you change it to zero and then it is transparent so apply so click the share button and say use so what we're going to do now is add text. So if you press on the image, you add text. iPhone 13. So now we're going to choose font and Fonto has so many fonts available and you can download fonts if you want. So let's just go with this font and you can change the size. Let's just leave it like that. And then you say the share button on the bottom and make sure to save it as a png otherwise if you say save image it will still have that background so say save as png and will be transparent so if you go to photos here you can see it is transparent so now that we have created different takes and different styles we're gonna go into video leap so what we're gonna do now is click on the plus button and click on the green screen and say add to project so here is the green screen again so what we're gonna do now is click on mixer to add the images that you just created so let's press on this one so here you can see here it is 
So then you put your text where you want it to be located on your project in iMovie. Then we're going to click on animation. So if we're going to press on in, here you can see fades, swipe up, slide down. So this is different than if you were to add text in video leap so if you add a picture in video leap there is other options for animation so i still like the slide so slide to right so then it's gonna be like this so if you think this is how you want it to be you can go and export and save so let's do it with the other texts as well so now we're going to add mixer choose this one going to move it to there animation in i'm going to say scale up so i'm going to make it a bit longer so that it's like that make it the duration of your green screen then we're going to say export save so in this app video leap you can also animate subscribe buttons or bell buttons so let me know in the comments if you want me to make a video on that okay so now that we have exported all our text we're gonna go into iMovie so here is the image that you want to edit on so then we're gonna say click the plus button say video recently added click on the three dots and then say green blue screen so now i can see it has the green screen effect now we're just gonna place it over here and if we play that's how it's going to look like and i think it looks really great so let's add the next one so again click the plus button add the image you created click on the three dots and say green blue screen so this is how this one looks like and if you don't like on how the text came out or the position or the size you can go back into video leap and edit it a bit okay so let's add the final one this one three dots green blue screen and here is this one so i'm pretty happy at how these ones turned out so here is the one with Fonto, here's the one with Video Leap, and here's the one with Over. And the final one here is the one with iMovie Animation. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that you have learned something from it. I think it was really fun creating these texts and you will enjoy it too. And it just makes your videos more fun. If you want to use it for videos on YouTube or you want to create family videos, you can do whatever you want with it. So please subscribe to our channel, that will really help us so much. And remember to click the bell notification button to get any notifications when we upload a video. Give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and feel free to leave a comment down below. I hope you guys have a lucky day. Bye!